To put it simply, Sam Rogers is one smart cookie. The St. John's Prep senior was recently recognized in the December issue of the international publication The Physics Teacher. Sam completed a complex physics challenge from the September issue and was one of only four high school students in the world to get it right. I think it took a couple of days, I would say. There was it's uh, similar to a problem we solved last year when I took IB Physics. And I looked at that and um, added in the uh, extra information, which I guess makes it harder for this one. And you end up with kind of uh, an equation, and you have to use, I think I use calculus to get the final answer. Physics teacher Charles Miller says he's only had one other student solve a problem for the publication, and that was around six years ago. The vast majority of the successful ones are professors and teachers, university professors mostly. Uh, second biggest group would be high school teachers. And then every month there's a couple of students that are able to accomplish the tasks. Because they usually involve math that's beyond the normal high school level. And, and sophisticated physics as well. Sam doesn't just stack his impressive resume with physics knowledge. He's also involved in theater, knowledge bowl, orchestra, and even introduces his classmates to his vast and quirky knowledge of vocabulary with a word of the day during school announcements. I take suggestions from friends if I come across an interesting word. Uh, so this week, the, the word of the day was a German word. It's a Fendschämen, which means uh, external shame. So. When somebody else does something embarrassing and you feel embarrassed for them. I'm a big fan of the word defenestrate, which mean, means to throw out a window. D defenestrate? Yeah, from uh, <laughs> the Latin fenis means window. A simple Google search on my end revealed that those amazing words do in fact exist. Sam is of course described by classmates as very smart, but more importantly, that he has an incredible wit and sense of humor. Sam says that he does work to try and take himself not too seriously. You know, a lot of people associate uh, you know, being good at academics or being good at math or sciences, you have to be really serious and really focused on just that and, you know, no time for fun. But, you know, I think you can incorporate humor and, you know, having that kind of that kind of disposition in your daily life. Reporting from Collegeville for WJON's All-Star Student Series, I'm Dan DeBond.